Dodgers Glove Connection is presented to you by San Manuel Casino. Ladies and gentlemen, and baseball fans of all ages, it's time for the latest edition of Dodgers Glove Connection, where the Dodgers couples reveal how much they are in glove. And here's our host, John Harton. Hey! Hi, everybody! Welcome to the Glove Connection, where we find out just how much our married Dodgers couples know about each other. It's, it's more like another popular 80s show, the newlywed game, but honestly, there was nothing really catchy and clever that, that rhymes with the newlywed game. So here we go. Let's meet our couples. Couple number one, they were high school sweethearts. They just celebrated recently their 10 year anniversary. Say hello to Ellen and Clayton Kershaw. Hi guys. Couple number two. They've been married all of two months. They got two <laughs> rings in 2020. Wedding rings and World Series championship ring. It's Corey and Madison Seeger. And couple number three, they too got wedding rings and World Series rings in 2020. They've been married 13 months. Edwin and Lacey Rios. All right, before we get started, Clayton and Ellen, I want to ask both of you when and where you got married. We got married in Dallas. Um, and when, did you say when? Yeah, we got married in 2010. So we have a big advantage in this game regardless because we're the salty vets of the crew. <laughs> so we feel pretty confident about it. All right. Maybe a little trash talking already early on from the Dodgers sure. ace. All right, Corey and Maddie, when and where did the two of you get married? Yeah. All right. Uh, we got married in <laughs> December in Nashville. All right. Edwin and Lacey, tell us about when and where you two got married. We got married at the Alphonse in, in January of last year. <laughs> <laughs> On the 10th. That's so cute, you guys. So cute. All right. So well, here we go. Let's play the game. Round number one. I'm going to ask some questions to the guys. But before the guys answer, we're going to need the wives to write down the answers on the whiteboard. And then I would call on each guy to answer the question. Question number one. What is your wife's shoe size? What is your wife's shoe size? Once the women have their answers locked in, be ready to go. All right, Clayton, I will begin with you. What is Ellen's shoe size? Seven and a half. Okay. And Ellen, what is the correct answer? Seven and a half. One point for Clayton and Ellen Kershaw. All right, Corey. It's legit. Corey, what is your wife's shoe size? She's an eight. She's an eight. Maddie? She's an eight. All right, one point for the Seegers. All right, Edwin has a little nervous look on his face. Edwin, what is your wife's shoe size? I'm going to go with eight as well. All right. Lacey? Seven oh. and a half. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no points. No points for the Rioses. All right, question number two. Where did you go on your first date? Where did you go on your first date? Mm hmm. All right. Corey, we're going to begin with you. Nobody show their husbands or wives the answers. Corey, we're going to begin with you. Where did you take Maddie on your first date? Um, prom, maybe? Prom. First date was the prom. Okay, Madison? Oh, we've got oh, a point. Yeah. Another point for the Seekers. All right, Edwin, your first date with Lacey. Where'd you take her? Chili's. Chili's? <laughs> Hey, she got that yeah. one, so they're on the board. The Rioses are on the board. All right, now, now, Clayton and Ellen, I know you guys have been dating a long time, or we're dating way back, uh, maybe freshman year of high school. So, Clayton, where did you take Ellen way back when? Yeah, it was on mom and dad's dime, so I think I took her to uh, Houston's, maybe. 
Uh oh. He's not. I don't think I got that right. <laughs> <laughs> they went to Chili's as well. <laughs> so who's right? Was it Houston's or Chili's? Do we know the the real I answer I was there? Right. I all right, well, we've got two points for the Seegers, one point each for the Kershaws and Rios's. All right, question number three before we do a role reversal. What would your wife say is your worst bad habit? What would you say is your worst bad habit? What would your wife say is your worst bad habit? Hmm. Lacey's writing a lot over there. I don't know if Edwin has a lot of bad habits or what, but he's writing a lot. How many can we put? No, I'm just <laughs> the worst, the worst of the bad habits. Okay, here we go. If everyone is ready, Ellen, you ready? You're still working on it, okay? She's probably trying to come up with one. Uh, it's probably not it. <laughs> Get me in here. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're going to begin with Edwin. What would your wife say is your worst bad habit? Sometimes I leave my clothes on the floor after workouts. Sometimes. <clears throat> okay. After workouts. Leaving clothes on the floor. <laughs> no. wow. They nailed it. That's pretty good. All right. Clayton, what do you think Ellen says is your worst bad habit? I mean, it has something to do with being impatient. I, I kind of just want to, no, she's, I, 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 impatience. I impatience? Guess wrong, but yeah, I don't know. What do I, got? No, I said like cracking his knuckles, cracking his fingers. I've cracking never his... said that's a problem until right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Corey, what would Maddie say is your worst bad habit? What do you think? Mine's definitely nail biting. Nail biting. There it is, nail biting. The Seegers. He's seen his hand. Look at those fingernails. All right. So after round one, the Seegers have a perfect score. Three out of three. The Rioses have two. The Kershaws have one. So a little catching up to do right now after one round. All right, so we're gonna reverse the roles now. The husbands will be writing the answers down on the whiteboard so you guys can uh, hand it over. Question number one. Ladies, this is gonna be, this is gonna be good. Other than your oh, husband, yeah. what celebrity would you want to be stuck on a deserted island with? <laughs> Other than your husband, what celebrity? I don't know his name. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ellen, we're gonna begin with you. What celebrity, other than your husband, would you wanna be stuck on a deserted island with? Mm. Well, if it were a girl, I'd say Princess Kate. But Princess since it's a boy, Kate. I'm okay. gonna say Prince William. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking his head. Channing Tatum. That's a good looking man. I, I, you know, oh, yeah. Ellen went the cute I mean, What do you think, like Ellen? Is that, is that a good choice? Dance too. Are you a cha uh, yeah, good Channing Tatum fan? <laughs> All right, Maddie. It's your turn. Who would you want to be stuck um, on a deserted island with if you couldn't be with Corey? Uh, probably Chase Crawford. Corey? Is that the guy that you couldn't? I think I got that right. I said the guy from Gossip Girl. I think his name is <laughs> Nate on the show. <laughs> well, I haven't seen Gossip Girl. Is that is that correct? All yes, right. it's right. That yeah. is the one, so they are four for four. Okay, oh, Lacey so Rios. The guy from Gossip Girl. That's tough. That. That's tough. Um, <clears throat> there could be two people, no, but specifically. <laughs> 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 the Rock. Dwayne oh, Johnson, The Rock. They got that one. Sticking with the Miami guys. I guess you, know, you like those Miami guys. Something about them. 
But nobody picked Tom Hanks, and Tom Hanks has been stuck on a deserted island for like five years, and he knew what to do. All right, here we go. <laughs> Thank you for that. All right, question number two. If your husband could only eat one food for the rest of his life, what would it be? If your husband could eat just one food for the rest of his life, what would he eat? Corey, if you pick anything that's dairy-free or disqualified. All right, here we go. Maddie, if your husband could eat just one food the rest of his life, what do you think it would be? Um, probably hibachi. Hibachi. Wow, they are on fire. Oops, she got it right. Okay, Lacey, what do you think? <laughs> what would Edwin want to eat if he could only eat one food for the rest of his life? Well, he has one favorite meal, yep. and it's arroz con pollo, which is chicken and rice, mm -hmm. specifically his dad's. Yeah. Arroz <laughs> con pollo. <laughs> that, right? Nailed it. Chicken. All right, we get it. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Ellen? If Clayton could eat just one food for the rest of his life, what do you think it would be? Yeah, uh, it's more of like a food group. It's dessert. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're so bad at this. Oh, fajitas. What does that say? Fajitas? <laughs> God almighty. Well, I mean, they've been together for 18 years, so I mean, it's a, it's a lot to choose from. I've seen a lot of favorites over there. Okay, here we go. The last question. For this round, how can your husband tell if you were mad at him? How can you tell, or how can your husband tell if you are mad at him? Uh, hmm? <laughs> Dang, I suck. All right, Edwin looks like he's done. So Lacey, how can your husband tell if you're mad at him? Mm -hmm. Are we just find a look on my face? <laughs> if I'm angry. The face <laughs> in quotation. <laughs> Not just the look on your face, apparently you have a face that you give him. <laughs> Okay, Ellen, how about for you? Um, I get fidgety. You get hey, fidgety. We got one. There you go, yeah. they are on the board again, yeah. fidgeting. <laughs> well done. All right, Maddie, how can your husband tell when you're not too happy with him in that moment? Um, I stopped talking to him. Eh, he's close. Yells or goes in the other room, just counts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do we have an official ruling? <laughs> Well, the Kershaw's uh, say no. I have a producer in my ears. I have Edwin Rio saying no. Uh, okay, Ooh. so you've been overruled. That answer is That's incorrect. Okay. We need it. We'll we take need it. help. <laughs> we need help. All right, Ooh. so two rounds are complete. We've got a close race right now between the two newliest of newlyweds. <laughs> and then Clayton and Ellen Kershaw. Ouch. See what you guys yeah. can do here in the final round. This is the final round. We're going to find out just how much each couple knows about the other two couples this time. I'm going to ask a question oh. that has three mm. possible answers. Write down your answer only. Don't say it. One point for each correct answer. Here we go. Your friends are sending you on a second honeymoon, and you get to choose one of these locations. Which one would you pick? Where are you going to go? Number one. A castle in Scotland with its own golf course. Number two, an African safari. Number three, a secluded beach in Thailand. Go ahead and write down your answers. Where would you go? Where would you go? Yes, where would you guys go? So each of you answer where you would go. Which of those three would you pick? What if we're going to separate places? Yeah. <laughs> 
What's well, that honeymoon? It's a honeymoon, so you and Ellen should be going on your second honeymoon <laughs> together. So which where, where would you yeah, guys choose to go? Together. Where do you want to go? Where do you guys want to go? Yeah. Don't we both answer separately? No, you guys answer together, right? Uh, yeah, you guys come up with an answer together. And now I forgot the choices. Okay, so the choices once again. You guys oh, choose oh, together oh, and write it down. Don't say it. Just write it down when you guys can agree, if you can agree on it. Number one, a castle in Scotland with its own golf course. Choice number two, an African safari. Option number three, a secluded beach in Thailand. Which of those three would you choose for your second honeymoon? Everybody locked in, ready to go? Okay, here we go. Kershaw's, be quiet for a moment. I'm gonna ask the Seegers first. Corey and Maddie, where do you think the Kershaw's would go? Which one of those three do you think they would pick? Two. Going with two? Maddie, you're not, you're not in agreement here? <laughs> I feel like Ellen might wanna do three. Okay, we're gonna ask the Rios's right now. Edwin and Lacey, where do you think the Kershaw's would go? Which one would they pick? Okay. One. Okay, they're Scotland. gonna go. They're gonna go with one. Scotland, the Seegers. Are you guys agreeing on two or are you going with three? Corey's locked in on two. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Time to reveal the answer. Ellen, Clayton, which one of those three would you choose? Number three. <laughs> <laughs> they were both wrong. The Seegers and Rios's were wrong. All right. See, you've already done that. Edwin awesome. and Lacey. Oh, there you go. They already done that. I told you they'd do it. Edwin and Lacey, where do you think the Seegers would go? So Edwin and Lacey, where do you think the Seegers would go on their second honeymoon? Three, two, yeah. Three. Similar to what? You're going with two? Three. three. Oh, you're going with three. Secluded yes. beach in Thailand. All right, Clayton and Ellen, where do you think the Seegers would be going? Scotland, African safari, Thailand. I mean, if Corey's going and you say secluded, I, I got Corey going three for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys win. Oh, they got it. <laughs> <laughs> they were right. So predictable. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> All right, Clayton and Ellen, where do you think the Rioses would be going on their second honeymoon? Can I take this one? Mm -hmm. All right, I, I feel like Eddie, I feel like they're gonna go too. I feel like they're going African Safari. African Safari, going with number no. two, Corey and Maddie, where do you think the Rioses would be going? They yeah, agree. Fun. They Yo. say number yeah. two. They're in my, they're Edwin and Lacey already. turn over the whiteboard. What you got? Scotland. Scotland. Oh. Golf. Wow. Are you golf? An Her upset. From, uh, from Scotland. Scotland. All right, so <laughs> I, I haven't been keeping track in my head. So who's the winner? The winner is, with six points, Edwin and Lacey Rios. <laughs> You are the winners of the glove connection. The Seegers were close right behind with five. The Kershaws finished up with three. If this was the true newlywed game from the 1980s, Edwin and Lacey, you guys would be getting like a 19-inch color television set and maybe a, a nice mattress or something like that. But uh, today, you just get bragging rights as champions of the glove connection. Clayton and Ellen, Corey and Maddie, Edwin and Lacey, thank you all for joining us on this wonderful edition of the Glove Connection. All right, thanks guys. <laughs> thanks. Bye. Bye. Dodgers Glove Connection has been presented by San Manuel Casino.